please have a seat and make sure then you that you can sit comfortably because we will have a, a short guided imagery. Excuse me that I interrupt your conversation, <laughs> but it's now time to turn inwards. As you may know, I'm a pupil of Milton Erickson. I had personal training with him, and Milton was a genius in inviting people into turning attention inward and into all the fields of unconscious <coughs> mind and creativity. And he had the kind of attitude and voice that everybody loved just to let go and follow his orientation to an internal attention. You don't have to do that, but you are allowed to do that. So I hope you sit comfortably. But as we know, trance is possible also with tension and activities. As you know from swimmers or cyclers or runners, it doesn't have to do with sitting or relaxing, but it's possible while sitting. And you can be relaxed the way you want to be relaxed. And if it's time and comfortable for you, then you can close your eyes. And we had as distortion and what I learned from Milton Erickson, if you go a bit into trance and you are disturbed and get out of it, then you will get into it again even deeper. It's a deepening technique. So it's no problem. If you have any irritation, you can look at it and pass by and follow your path to your own inner orientation. Because it's you, only you, who counts in your life in the end. Now you may hear some sounds outside. And it's wonderful to know that all the outside world will be there when you are back from your short trip exploring your inside world. And you may have noticed the changes in breath and breathing. It's so wonderful beside all that activity and exchange and Maybe moments of tension in between, find a gap to just let go your breeze, let go your tension, and find an inner space where you can be oriented to your thoughts and what makes sense to you. Everybody has its own his or her own style in meeting him or herself, and that's okay. Some love it to sit at a fire and watch the flames. Others love to be at a beach and listen to the sounds of the waves. Others 
love to feel the warm summer wind stroking the body and you may look up and see the birds how they are carried by the warm wind sometimes they have to do something to fly and find direction but very often they just spread their wings and are carried by the streams and have time to enjoy and look down on the world from some distance. I don't know whether you have talent to feel like such a bird, but you can do it if you want and look down on the day yesterday, for example. And it might be interesting what comes to your mind, what pictures, what words, maybe what facial expressions. Or you might remember your body reactions and points of specific feelings during the day. Or you might be reminded on a dream of that night. Usually, if you enter the world of dreams, you will approach a series of dreams. In the past, and the union psychology says you may even have some access to meaning in the future, because time is only metric. And when you look through moments of the day of yesterday, you may look also on your professional life and your development. This might be a smaller section like the last months and the plans for the next month. <coughs> This might also be a perspective of years. Or of your whole life cycle. Usually the roots are very long in our history. I once was asked on a meeting like this, what is your first experience with helping, with advising? Either that you got help or advice or guidance of some kind, or you have been in the role of helping, advising, In my case, it went back until the age of six, and I didn't expect that there was a pattern that is still there in my whole life. A basic attitude, certainly developed over time. But some basic pattern is still there. And so I feel somehow that's me. And certainly I have to learn all the roles and the fields in which I'm working. And there are so dynamic developments that sometimes I would love to just to stay the way I was. 
But the evolution goes on and you never know how quickly. So I also try to be alert, to be prepared and oriented for the future. For moving towards the future, communities are important. Which are your communities where you have really a, an exchange that is nourishing you, that makes sense. Where are these communities located on our planet? Who are the kind of people that belong to these locations? To these stages of exchange? <coughs> And certainly the flow of inner experiences can follow your own pace and go on during the day while a major part of your attention prepares itself to come back to the outside world and slowly approach again this INOC meeting there, knowing that there will be an interesting presentation. <clears throat> and certainly this presentation is only a fragment, some perspectives. <clears throat> and you certainly are interested somehow to integrate it into your inner processes and self-understanding. And this can go on during the whole day on an unconscious mind basis. We don't have to pay attention, but when we will have the discussion about the future of this meeting, it might be somehow important to find your position to that. So as everybody has his for her own pace to get into this inner orientation. Everybody has it, yes, or her own pace to come back. And I see some already starting to move and open eyes. And your breathing will change and I have to change the voice tone to give you analog signals. When I say on a content level, you should come back, but I still see it on the way of the trans, it will not work. <laughs> so I have to go back with my voice and lead you here into this room and into this presence. And you still can be in touch somehow, what you experience now in the background, and it may go on while you prepare yourself to be interested and attentive for the presentation we will have now from Michael. Mm -hmm.